What is up guys? I'm Kyle at Fortune Off-Road. Today we're doing the Rubicon. Oh. So really we're not doing the whole Rubicon because of what's been going on in the area. There's been a ton of fires. There's been trail maintenance going on. Right now the trail is only open for day use so we can't even camp. Kind of hard to enjoy the trail when you can't camp. So we're just out here for the day. We're just playing. We've got a Jeep four door on some 35s, this big Jeep on some 40s, and then of course the Samurai on 31. So it's going to be interesting to see how these three vehicles all handle this same trail. We've got some stuff going on with the Samurai, but hopefully it's not going to be enough to hold us up. And the weather out here is just gorgeous. Got a little bit of wind, but we got the doors off on the Samurai. We're ready to rock. I was really stoked to get out on the Rubicon this day and especially so since it's kind of a long trip for just a single day out on the trail but not only did we get one guy we got two dudes to go and it's a great time to test out my new shackles for the Samurai. These ledges are the perfect enemy of the Samurai. They're spaced apart pretty much the same amount as my wheelbase, so I had a hard time getting up it, and then when I saw that I was leaking out some gear oil, I decided to give up and go around. Good thing we had a spill kit with us because I did dump quite a bit out right there. The gatekeeper is actually one of my favorite parts of this trail. I really enjoy this type of wheeling. It's more just flat land going over a bunch of rocks and you know trying to plan your route through them. I think that's a ton of fun. Although in the Samurai, it's so small and so low, it's actually challenging in some spots, whereas you have guys on 40s that get through this without a hitch. Matt on his 35s did really well also. His Jeep made short work of these obstacles. Definitely don't put any effort into it, right? Just crawl right over there. You're right, dude. <laughs> you wait for the drive home for that. 
Very nice, man. Even on one of the easier parts of the Rubicon like this, it only takes one slip to get hung up. Matt slipped off a rock and got hung up on his rear diff and his front right control arm and it was a little bit too much for him to get off so we tried to yank him off with the Samurai which is a pretty good challenge itself but it worked. Riding your rail, bro. Yep. As long as you're not in the body, that's okay. Slow, slow. There you go. Walker Hill is just wide enough to where you can kind of choose your lines and what obstacles you want to go up when you get up there. We were trying to take the harder obstacles all day and you can see on this one part the Samurai was pretty much at its max as far as breakover angles and the articulation and I didn't make it this time but I'm looking forward to coming back and trying this spot again. Thank you. 
Once Rick got up this obstacle, we decided we've gone far enough and it was time to turn around so we could get back to the Loon Lake staging area before dark. just made it out you can see I'm dirty as heck got a little bit of trouble from the samurai but that's all good it wasn't anything new um, transmission we're still having problems with it the seal in the back uh, leaked out a ton of fluid so I was under there messing with it a lot I'm um, trying to get some fluid in there not much luck so uh, we made it out we crawled it out we went basically all the way up Walker Hill and then we decided to turn around before the Sun comes down and it was a great idea, great decision because the sun's going down now and we're able to get out. But a couple things to fix on the Samurai. Uh, carburetor almost left us stranded at one point and then now we got some weird popping from the steering. But overall, huge success, ton of fun. Can't wait to tear this thing apart, get it fixed up and come back even better. Guys, if you wanna see more of these other dudes, this guy in his 40s, this other dude on his 35s, check out Nauticon. I'll put a link here so you can check it out. He's got a ton of videos looking at all of the trails around Northern California. Uh, a lot of good footage and a lot of good info. So if you wanna check it out, do it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that if you wanna see any of my new videos and see me wheel a samurai like a crazy person that doesn't know how to drive a stick. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.